touch here to begin. Enter the code, which is on. What did you just touch there? How is uh, struggling with exposure? Oh, uh, it says click here. Okay. And then you can use this sheet to see that the code is 1015. Enter. Choose your mode. You want full mode, not easy mode. System power needs to be on. Yes, you are sure. A is a good place to start for lighting presets. It's a light gold with full house lights. And it's named on your sheet, right? Yes. What's it, what's it called? Walk-in. Walk-in. Okay. You can change the house lights within the presets as long as you don't hit off. If you hit off, it'll turn off all the lights. It'll turn off the background lights and everything, but you can hit low and it'll just bring down the house lights but preserve all the rest of the presets. Or if you want more light, you can hit high and it'll bring up the house lights. How do you go back to normal? If you want to go back to what the original preset was, you have to hit that original preset again. And when you preset, when you hit it, I see it does something. It indents and makes a clicking noise. So you see it go in and that's how you know. And there's a five second delay of it crossing over. There's a fade over five seconds. Okay. If you want to turn the projector on, hit projector on. Oh, wow. If you want to turn the TV on below, there's a remote control and you just have to hit the power button on it once. Where is that remote control? It's down at the sound desk. Oh. Your sound guy will know. And then if you want to turn on the splitter, you push this button down and you'll see the red lights come on. And that is what sends the signal from the computer to the projector and also to the TV. Okay. Finally, what you want to do is open up ProPresenter on your computer. Okay. So wait, uh, could you just talk us through those presets? Yes. Oh, just real quick and then we'll go into that since we're in the zone. So you'll notice here yeah, all these letters programmed up to O. So you'll notice that we've got all the presets here. So I could shot here. I don't know, maybe just talk us through those. Okay, so what you have is, um, A is walk-in, it's light gold with house lights. You wanna show them what B looks like? Yeah. B, over five seconds, it's just gonna get a little bit of a darker gold in the background there, and that is good for welcome. It just changes the mood a little bit. C is gonna be when we go to worship, and it's gonna be a light blue in the background with a spotlight coming in from the top right on the worship leader. Then announcements, you keep the same setting here and there's enough light on stage that, it's, that the person making the announcements can, can make them from there um, until they tell everyone to greet one another. And then you're gonna hit D to go to greeting, which is the same preset as A. So it brings everything back to gold and the house lights are on. And then after the greeting, when you want to get everybody back in to come to the sermon, you hit E and it will bring the lights down a little bit and put a spot on the steps there and in front of the steps in case he's speaking from in front of the steps. Beautiful. So it does both. You don't have to change anything if he walks off the steps. Yep. It's, okay. it's still there. So then if we go into communion from there, that's going to be F. And F is going to have a darker blue background and more lighting on the steps and more lighting in front of the steps for where the communion table sits. Very good. And then when they go into worship from there, uh, when everybody has already gotten communion and there's no more people in the aisles and everybody's about to, to sit down or stand up, then you go to G and G is going to be for worship and it's a very similar setting but it changes the spotlight to being on stage for the worship leader coming so the, in from the top right. So this is the second set of worship typically this, on a Sunday morning. Yes, so if there isn't communion, then you would go back to C after the sermon, you would go to C and it will be the light blue background. Okay. Um, for typically the first two songs fit this mood well 
and then once it goes to about the third song, you if you feel like it's going there, you can pick the right time to hit G and it will darken the background, but all the other settings are the same. So it'll just darken the mood a little bit and I recommend doing that in the middle of the second set. Very cool. Um, yeah, about like two out of the four songs. And these house lights stay on, huh? And the house lights stay on. If you wanted to um, bring them down any lower, you could try hitting low on here and see if that is is dimmer, is any dimmer. Um, but don't hit off. But don't hit off. If you want to turn off the house lights, say you're on G and you want to turn off the house lights, go to a preset that has no house lights in it, such right. as K. K is the 6 p.m. Okay. So if you look, the house lights are dimming and they'll be off. Now K is a dark blue background with no house lights, but it's the same as G. Okay. So sometimes if the set is really getting moody and you want to take the house lights off, you can hit K and it will go there. And this is so, what the 6 p.m. worship set is always. This is where 6 p.m. is. Yeah. So uh, super cool. So it, it literally goes in the order that it's enumerated. That's pretty much well, whatever alphabetized. Yeah. And so H would be dismissal. Um, after they say the peace uh -huh. and the blessing and dismissal and everything. Look then... this guy. This, this dude did this. <laughs> Terrace Marsenheimer. So, <laughs> yeah. so this is the same as A. So if one day somebody wanted to put in a, a different preset, um, but you still wanted to keep a dismissal preset like this with the full lights and the gold, you could just hit A. What are we on? This is K? This is H. H. Okay. And it would it's the same as A though, so you could also you could hit A if you wanted to. You could also hit I if you wanted to. I is the same as those. Um, we tried to have more presets than we needed so that we could change things later. Okay. Um, so some of them are repeats. Um, so if you're going into the 6 p.m. service, you start at I. So A through H is for the morning services typically, and I through O is for the evening. Amazing, amazing work. So, right. so now you're here. You start at I. You're starting at I for the 6 p.m. as people walk in. Typically, you're gonna have the, um, the top lines are gonna be closed for all of the morning services. But for the evening service, it, it, we're just we're in daylight savings time right now. So we have them closed because um, it's still bright, but as it starts to get darker, um, it's kind of nice to have the windows open right. so that you can see the stained glass. That's what they wanted to do. And for the morning services, I pull the blinds on the front two windows down below just so it doesn't wash out the screen with ambient light. Very good. Um, but so for the morning service, you can have all of the blinds open if it's dark enough. If it's not, then you can have them closed. Okay. Um, so then J is the same, same thing, same kind of running order. You have walk-in as I. J is going to be welcome. So it's a little bit moodier because it's the six. And there's uh, step lights there and there's the, the blue background. And then they're going to announce, they're going to start off the service there with that welcome. That's J and then go into K, which is going to be worship. There is only a, a small, small difference between K and L. So you'll see that K has a spotlight on the worship leader and right. it has a little bit of light on the steps. Okay. If you hit L, there's more light that's gonna come in. It's over a five second fade. There's gonna be more light on the steps and less light on the worship leader. Very good. So when they, if somebody gets up on stage in the middle of a worship set, then you go to L. Okay. Or if they get up at the end of the worship set, then you go to L for them to do announcements or pray or whatever they're going to do. Very cool. Um, from L, they're going to do announcements like this until they say, um, greet one another. All right. And once they say, greet one another, you're going to hit M. And M is going to bring the house lights in, but it's going to keep the mood kind of low, kind of like welcome was. Right. Um, it's actually, it's the same preset as J. Right. Um, which is also the same as E. So it's like, the, it's the sermon preset. E is the sermon preset. Okay. J and M are the same. So you have that. And you'll leave that up for as long as the sermon is going. If they go back into worship at the end, then you can go to K. All right. Uh, and it'll bring the house lights down. If that feels like it's too dark for the mood, if they're like trying to pray on the sides and they want a little bit of light in the house, then you could hit the low okay. house Very light good. setting and bring in just a little bit of light for that Good and it'll point. still have the spotlight on the worship leader which is what you want. And then we saw the five second delay between when you hit the button and when yeah. the lights came on. Mm -hmm. All right. And then once they dismiss everybody you can hit O at the end um, if, if you want it to be a soft close 
O is, is still going to have some, some worship spotlights and it's going to have some house lights so that people can find their way out, but it's not as bright as doing A. Right. A is just going to break the mood completely and, and bring everything out. But if you wanted to do a soft close where we're still going to be doing worship and you can stick right. around or you can leave like it's 815 or something. Right. Um, then O is for that. Otherwise, you can go back to I. Yeah. Which is the same as A or H. So right. and, and you can totally bring everything up. OK. Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's take a break and then we'll talk about lyric projection. Yes. Any, any other words of wisdom? Um, uh, no. Plug and play. And then at the end of the night, you just press off? Uh, off, yeah, at the I end of the night, say. you're going to do projector off, and you're going to do system power off. So I'll just show that right now. All right, hold at on. At the end of it. Just get in so I can see these. Yep. You're going to do system power off. Um, you do, so projector off. It's going to turn the projector off, and then system power off. And so, are you you're sure? Yes. And then, before you leave, you want to hit this off button here for the house lights because the house lights are going to stay on. They're, they're right. controlled separately until you hit that off. So you do that when it's time to leave, you can hit. And you want to get people out of here, you hit that. That's debatable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it work, but it's dangerous. Um, um, and then for pro presenter. OK, hold up. OK, so thank you, Terrace. This guy, amazing. This dude right here, amazing. 